Winter Farmer's Market is one of those gems you find in communities all over Maine. A place to meet up for sweet treats, hot drinks, and vendors selling just what your family needs. On Sunday, November 22nd, BCTV stopped by the first farmer's market of the season. We found dedicated vendors selling beautiful vegetables, meats, and handcrafted items. Between customers, BCTV asked the vendors how COVID has impacted their farm or business. Here is what we found. What's your name? Please? Alyssa. It's like this. Yep. A-L-Y-S-S-A. Yep. Katera, is that how you say it? Yep. And I heard you say you live in Bucksport? Buxton. Buxton, and yep. you work out of Portland yep. mainly. What brings you down to Berwick today? Do you travel to all the farms? I do a lot of different farmers markets. The Kennebunk one just ended yes yesterday. Scarborough ended last month sometime. Um, and a lot of the farmers markets, like the good ones for the winter time, are not accepting new vendors this year. And you're so, a new vendor. This is your first year. This is my first one at Berwick. And then there was also um, I I wanted to apply to some of the bigger ones up north, like north of Portland, but they're not accepting new vendors. So I uh, I'm just doing this one. Yes. Wow, that's yeah. fantastic. What kind of products do you have here? So I uh, have kind of a split business. So the over here I have pumpkin seed milk, which I call pepita milk. Um, and it's made from organic, locally grown pumpkin seeds. And I make a byproduct from that. This a gluten-free um, flour and a protein powder. And then I also have a gluten-free pie, crust mix, and a tempura and a pancake mix down there. And then this is my other side of my business where I have an herbal skincare line, skin and body care. And I have things from like face exfoliators to moisturizers. I have all different kinds of lotions, including a CBD cream. And then I have hair texturizers and a tooth powder. I have to ask, what do you use pumpkin seed milk for? You can use it across the board, the same as you would use um, regular dairy milk or an alternative milk. It has a comparable flavor to almond milk, I would say, because it's mild and nutty, but you it's just as versatile, but it's actually a much more sustainable option over almond milk. First of all, how long have you been in business in, in Portland? I So I started in New Hampshire, okay. um, and then I just moved to uh, Buxton, Maine in April, so I've been working out of Portland since then, um, but I've been in business for almost two years. Is it a full-time job for you? Full-time job. Okay. Um, yeah. Has COVID impacted your business? Um, like I said, the, the market's not accepting new vendors for the winter is definitely um, going to prove some challenges. Um, it's definitely affected my expansion in Maine because moving up there when the pandemic started, I just like couldn't really do any networking. Um, so that's been a little bit challenging, but um, definitely worked through it. Uh, it boosted my sales at the beginning even when the farmer's market shut down. And then as farmer's markets began to open back up, I just shifted gears again. Had a really good season though. Excellent. Um, but definitely with like the up in the airness with cafes and health food stores and all of that, like which is where I want to get my products into, it's been a little bit more challenging. Is there anything that needs to happen short term or long term for your business to, to really take off and thrive? Uh, um, <laughs> I need glass back. <laughs> <laughs> the glass shortage is really challenging right now. I just can't even go market because I don't have enough glass to package my products in. I didn't know there was a glass shortage. If there is a glass shortage and it's as you see everything is in glass. I don't do plastic so I'm struggling through that. I do a bottle deposit system luckily so that gets me enough jars to work with. But.